Yeah. Farmers around the world. This is what we need. People around the world. This is what we need. The fields to be naturally grown. Uh, yet again, uh, the natural process is completely gone away now. The mass production of all things required by our consumption makes it very difficult to keep it all clean, neat, tidy and ethical. So all we can hope for is the next 10 years come and we will not be able to reverse the pattern of extreme use of our land and extreme abuse of our land the fundamental elements the earth the sky the air and life is interconnected and uh, connected and interwoven with the balance of our existence on this planet if you are unable to sustain that balance and the requirement um, it is going to be a very, very short-sighted uh, um, of our human existence on this planet. Also, I must say that uh, the coexistence with our earth, the air that we breathe, and the ground that we uh, that produce and supply us our total existence or the total uh, balance of our life if you are unable to maintain that the cycle that it kept the cycle that it's uh, uh, kept us alive and give us the fresh air that water that we require for all things that we live for um, is going to slowly disappear and um, we are going to struggle with our existence on this planet the drought is hitting pretty much everywhere in the world and um, it's more so uh, prevalent in many parts of the dry arid lands uh, <clears throat> on a overcast or not an overcast it's a slightly cooler um, cloudy day from Narita, Chiba, Tokyo. Uh, may I say I hope this world will learn to realize our human consumption is going to be shared, well balanced and uh, produce what we require instead of wasting it and destroying our planet and our existence and our coexistence with one another. That rice I was talking about, here we go. Packed up in a plastic bag and it's ready for you to consume, to keep this life. The man has always lived the world to feed his family and himself or himself and his family. The world's population. Wow, this is storage. Containers being converted into storage units. Look how improvising the Japanese are. They are a very conscious society, conscious about their way, their impact, how much they cause impact, and the least amount of impact on this world. And yet, the consumption is highly excessive as they, they thrive and seek to reach new heights of all things human and all things they do. Also, if I may say, the world's 20% of the world's population consumes 80% of the world's natural resources. Now, how do you justify that? 
to be perfect balance of our existence with the one kind that we have on this earth, the humans. I'm in a small area of rice fields and you can hear the froggies also. It's all the residential that's all here. And it's still maintaining a little bit of sensible farming unlike what we have done elsewhere around the world. There's still a very little amount of um, planting by hand and producing small quantities of rice and farming produce here on a, a rice field in Japan, Tokyo. I'm privileged to still see some uh, little amount of respect for farming and locally produce, ethically produce rice and as you can see these are planted rice that will be harvested roughly about in the next two to three months.